people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, this is an update about an incident that took place in Clarendon. And it pertains to a constable I am speaking about, Kirkland Plummer. And it also concerns a next person, a 27 year old man. And his name is Wayne Slash. And he is allegedly the man that got into some sort of confrontation with the Popo. Or the man that bust up the con in at the party. So anyways, people, this is the bottom line. Based on the information that is out there, it is said that this constable was on his way home from work. He was passing, I think, Airwood Main Road in Clarendon. And he heard some sort of pipe where we talk about loud explosion. And he decided that he wants to investigate and see exactly what was going on. So therefore he went to the party and it is said allegedly when he went to the party he saw a gunman with a gun in his hand. And he confronted that person and he disarmed that person and also called up that person. However it is also said during a little tussle it seems as if he also got injured and during his injury it is said that his fire piece also fell from his hand and that was when the patrons at the party basically started fling some stone upon him and also injured him so people he was basically down now people like i said there are always three four five six sides to every story however people like them say you have the poor poor side you have the people upon the street and then you have the truth so people i am going to let you take a listen take a look at some of these voice notes and then i am going to basically analyze them and give my peace I hear all kind of tasty, but the kind of hear say one dance are going on. When uh, somebody fire shot a dance and they must confront the man. I mean, you know what? I'm afraid so. I didn't get it. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Nothing but you then they run him and say, Yo, what happened, the boy? You better have a machine. I didn't go over there. Now. Take off the machine and wait up the youth and now you clone him and say, say Boy, I've cloned him. That's a fiend for an entire time. Yeah man, the thing I run come to him and say, yo, wait, 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 me know them. Yeah, what nine miles are they come from, man? Yeah man, if they get a ticket, I run come, hope you get a ticket. Hope the police are look for me. And he always intervene and carry them to a station and start out and say, yeah, as you don't do, be a friend then, but as me I say, get some friend that can elevate your brother. Are you alone out there, crew, up there? And I try to make something of yourself, and your friend never drive them in a world. You walk last night, but you had no man. Take man, draw you, thank you, and I'll party, see you, man. Now, people, like I said, this man was well known in the neighborhood. He was known by the good, the bad, and the ugly, the indifferent. He was said to be a very good man. However, it seemed as if he was the type of person that could have been drawn out. Now people like me say, let me make it very clear. This is my disclaimer. There are always at least two sides to every story and then you have the truth. Because based on the information from the Popo, it is said that he was coming from work when he heard the pie pie sound him and he went to investigate. Now based on some of these voice notes and people, whenever I get these voice notes, they are from credible persons including the Popo, including soldier, including reputable people in other society. However, it is not always 100% proof. However, people like them say, wherever there is smoke, there is also fire. Now, people, based on the information, it is that this person that the Popo went into a tussle with or got into a tussle with, he was basically on the Popo radar. So, therefore, he was known as a man that was wanted. He was known as a crime producer. I am speaking about the 27 year old man and his name is Wayne Slash. Now based upon the information people like me said before, the Popo went to the party, he saw the man with the tool and him basically disarmed the man according to the Popo information, according to some of the words on the street, according to some of the patrons that was there. However, people like I said in the voice notes or like the voice notes reveal, 
he was the type of person that is always looking out for people and some of those persons that he was looking out for they are basically them have some sort of shaky character that means that they might be involved in some sort of thing and people menace that them are criminal i am just saying that they are not clean like we are talking about jesus pope or record now people, what is very disturbing about the whole thing is that based on the information it is said that after he got in the tussle with the man and people like them say, the man also got caught up and he was taken to the place of recovery. He was taken to the place of, we are talking about at the hospital and people, I don't know if he make it, apparently he did not make it. However, based on the purple it is said that he is a violence producer in the era and he might be wanted. So people, I don't know if that is what exactly happened. If him and this wanted man basically kick off or there was some sort of issue between the two before people may not know. Like me say, this is the second update. However, it is still preliminary. We need to get all the facts point blank and period. However, at the end of the day, it is very sad to see a popo lose him life and people like we say, he was coming from work according to the popo and he heard some sort of con. Now people, I know that it is protocol that if you hear any sort of con, the first thing that you are supposed to do is basically call for backup. So people, was he attending the party? People may not know that is yet to be determined, point blank and period. However, the point that I am trying to make is this. He went, I don't know if he decided to play a hero because obviously he was not following the protocol of the JCF. May I talk about the Jamaica Constabulary Force to call for backup. And when he went, he was confronted by a man. And when he confronted the man and disarmed the man, it was said that the patrons, it seems as if they were mad that he basically stopped the party. It seems as if they were saying that him basically fling a monkey wrench in at them enjoyment. So therefore they were going to retaliate. Now people, when we see stuff like this, it only shows the type of mindset and mentality that is involved in Jamaica. So therefore, the priority is not law enforcement. The priority is not rules and regulation and make sure that everything is up to par. The priority is dancing and enjoying yourself. So therefore, even at the poor poor tell you, say, you have to stop the party because we're in a pandemic. It does not matter. They want to party. They want to dance. They like the hype. Them like the red stripe. Them like the Guinness. Them like the bubbly. Ray T. Lele. Blue. Blah. Blend. Some people, the moral of the story is that this popo was doing his job allegedly and he was met with some sort of resistance because he was trying to disarm this man. And it is said that the constable basically picked up attack also during the whole melee. And it is said that even though he was calling for assistance, even though he was trying to get some sort of backup, we are speaking about other patrol members, people, it is said that when the person saw that he was basically injured, they took advantage of the situation. And instead of helping the poor poor officer, they basically took the side of the criminal. They basically sided on the side of entertainment and dancehall. So people, based on this information, it is said that this man could have lost his life. I am speaking about the poor poor from the gunshot wound that he got or even from the stones that were thrown by the patrons in the party. And it is said that when the patrol team arrived, he was basically pronounced we are talking about gone. And then the next one was taken to the place of recovery. However, I don't think that that man made it either. It is also said that the both weapons that were used were talked about by the gunman and also the popo. They were on the scene. So people, luckily, nobody took that weapon away. Luckily, nobody basically exit the scene with the weapon. So hopefully they can do some sort of ballistics or some sort of fingerprint and see who is involved and why. So people like to see. This is very sad news, however, it only shows you the Jamaican mentality. It only shows you the average Jamaican the way that they think. They basically think we are speaking about ASS backwards, point blank and period. So people, at the end of the day, the Popo is asking the residents, they are asking the public for assistance with anybody that has any sort of information that can lead to the arrest and conviction of the persons that are responsible. We are speaking about the patrons that throw the stone and also the gunman and him cumble of them. So people, it only shows you that Jamaica is basically spiraling down to the depths of hell, point blank and period. 
So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.